something. So a little administrata here. We have figured out that this works best if everyone is in front of me and no one is behind me because I can't see if you have questions. Please don't be offended if I'm shouting at you with this stupid thing, but it is a necessity. Also, I don't know how to make the thing work, apparently. Really? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, is that... All right, well, I've already decided that I hate it, so let's <laughs> let's figure out if my voice will hold out for this whole training or not. Welcome home! <laughs> so what I always start with is the mission statement of the Temple Guardians, which is the Temple Guardians hold the space of the temple, maintaining an environment that allows equal access for everyone to have the experience and expression that they need and to keep the temple itself as well as the participants who visit it safe. Now take a second to think about that because that is the heart of what we do. This is my first year being a guardian and I loved the temple last year so much and I was there twice a day I thought it would be very much an honor to be a guardian. It seemed like a good fit to volunteer to give back to the Burner community. After the first year, it changed my life. It is a holiness um, to the temple that is beautiful and sacred, and I love being a part of that. Very much like the playa, the temple is really a blank canvas for all of the things that we are carrying with us. The temple, I often tell people, the temple is what people need it to be at the moment that they're there. It's only when people start filled with their grief and their love that then it becomes a temple. And they put the things down and then they, they walk out lighter. And in a lot of ways, it's kind of like the miracle of the temple. As temple guardians, you're there to hold that sacred space that the community calls to be. Think about this, because what it means is that you're the human embodiment of the temple. when a temple guardian is holding the space in the temple is like they're not there. A very quiet, behind the scenes, almost invisible force at the temple. What I had the opportunity to do several times was, was just offer support in the form of a hug. Even just, you know, opening my arms as an invitation. It helped me tremendously when I myself was in there working on some things, grieving. The amount of support and love that was given to me was was amazing. So um, I love to be able to offer that back. To be there when we're needed and then step back when we aren't. That is the heart of what we do. That's the work that we do and that's where we stand. watched a temple burn. It's something that's very special. But the thing that the guardians do on the night of the temple burn, I think it goes so far beyond what happens after the temple burn begins. And the crowd quiets down and, and everyone is just watching the temple burn. And if you're there and you're being with the crowd, really making yourself a part of them while you're watching them and see the firelight dancing in their eyes. You know, I say all the time to my guardians, I'm like, look, the thing behind you, that's a structural fire. But what's available in front of you, what's there for you if you put yourself with that crowd is everything. <laughs> 